And we are also tracking the very latest on Hurricane Ida, which has been downgraded to a tropical storm. It's still very dangerous. Hundreds of thousands of people across the Gulf Coast are in the dark this morning and getting help. Right now, members from the Ohio Task Force One are staged in Lafayette, Louisiana to help rescue and recovery efforts. Now, Ida made landfall as a strong Category 4 storm yesterday, and the damage so far has been catastrophic. At least one person is dead. And right now, rescue teams are trying to reach people trapped in their homes, some in their attics. President Biden approved Louisiana disaster declaration to help the state. At landfall, Ida packed winds up to 150 miles per hour, tying it as the fifth strongest hurricane to hit the U.S. And it happened on the 16th anniversary of Hurricane Katrina. Let's get the latest from meteorologist Ryan Weekman. Ryan, you've been tracking Ida since last week. Mm -hmm. This is uh, quite a storm here. Now, let's not think here just because it's downgraded to a tropical storm that this is about over, right? No, and many, many, many times the worst part of these storms, even though the winds make for dramatic images and maybe can be uh, the most dramatic from that standpoint, it is flooding and waters that oftentimes result in the most death and damage. And that's certainly what we've seen from this storm as the images right behind you show those waves and that storm surge continuing to come up. So not done by a long shot. And today it's Mississippi that's going to be dealing with the flooding rains for us.